What's up, family? Welcome to our town to downtown on Slash TV. This particular episode is a tutorial on how to schedule your appointment with the Department of Motor Vehicles Administration. This is for Marylanders, okay? So please don't go nowhere. Sit back, relax. We'll be right back. The Motor Vehicle Administration has two options on how to schedule your appointment. That is being by phone or your website. And this tutorial is going to be on how to access the website and also to see how user friendly the website is. Without further ado, let's keep it rolling. Okay, we go to Google and type MVA SC H E D U L I N G dot M V A dot M A R Y L A N D dot G O V. That is M V A scheduling dot M V A dot Maryland dot gov. Now let's see what this takes us. Okay, so we right here, we're going to select the first one, which is a welcome to the MVA central scheduling system. That's what we're going to select everybody. Let's scroll down and see what they have. We're going to go back to the top and schedule the first, select the first one, sorry. And the first one takes us straight to the Maryland Motor Vehicle Administration scheduling website. The first one is new driver services. That's uh, for a new learner's permit or scheduling a driving test or a learner's permit law test. The second one is commercial driver services. That's if you want to be a CDO driver. The third one, driver license or ID services. Third one, other appointment services. And the fourth one is uh, motor safety, motorcycle safety training. So let's read this highlighted uh, portion. Say, attention customers, if you need to complete a tag return or visit a self-service kiosk, please do not schedule an appointment as these services can be handled without an appointment. All customers, regardless of the type of transactions, will need to answer three health screening questions and have a temporal scan of body temperature prior to and entering a branch office. Visit our online services page to see additional transactions that can be completed from the comfort of your home. Let's read this. Please note, if you would like a confirmation email sent to you with the details of, details of your appointment, please be sure to provide an email address when prompted. Okay, let's read this important message. Important message re uh, regarding the expired product. If your driver's license registration or learner's permit expired on or after March, 3rd, March 13th, 2020, Governor Hogan has issued an executive order that provides a grace period on vehicle registration and driver's license expiration dates. Okay, you can visit uh, the website COVID-19 and MV, M MVA for more details. So now we're going to select uh, new driver's license. That's the services that we need to be you know, taking care of at the MVA. So here it says you need uh, proof of age and identity. You need proof of uh, social security. And uh, you need proof of uh, residential address. And it says uh, print, uh, let's see. No. Saxon asks if we've changed our, legally changed our name. No, we haven't. So we're going to select no and go to uh, driver license. 
Uh, we haven't changed our name. Okay, here, with a uh, proof of age and identity, we're going to select one from here. That's what you need to select one document that is, uh, you'll be taking with you to the Department of Motor Vehicles Administration. Okay, and uh, here, as a, that's a birth certificate if uh, that's the document that you'll be taking with you. That's the picture, the picture of it right there. So we'll be taking a birth certificate with us to the Department of Motor Vehicles. So here you go down, click proceed. And here is a proof of social security card. That's what we'll be taking with us. We're going to select that and click uh, proceed. And here we need two proof of uh, residential address. We're going to select checking and savings account and select a utility uh, bill statement. And we're going to go uh, down. It's just giving you uh, all the documents that you've selected to take with you to the uh, Department of Motor Vehicles Administration. So here we're going to select, click to schedule an appointment. Click it and it takes you straight to the scheduling site. So you have to read everything here. And if you agree to it, you know, or uh, okay with the uh, documents that you'll be taking with you, you're gonna scroll all the way down and select that you've read and uh, the instructions and you understand it. So here we're just gonna create, you know, come up with a name and just put it in there. You no, know, so it's gonna be uh, Mark Doe. You write your name. You now you're gonna go put your date of birth. We're just coming up with, uh, this is, you know, we're just coming up with a name and a date of birth just to help uh, Marylanders, you know, how to schedule the appointment. So this is just, you know, something that we just created. You don't really need your uh, your social security number, so just put the, uh, your name, your date of birth, and uh, the sex, you know, if you're a male or female. And uh, you're gonna go down. You don't need your address. You can put your address if you want to. And here we're just coming up with a, you know, a telephone number, you know. But please try to put the correct telephone number so in case they have to cancel your appointment and reschedule you, they can get hold of you. And this is the part that you can also put an email so you can, uh, they can send you email confirmation. So this is where it brought us straight. We're selecting, they have 24 available locations. So we're gonna see all these locations that they have. So we're gonna select that. And the locations, please, you can select whatever is convenient for you, okay? Some of the locations have closed appointment and some has appointment way up to uh, in the middle of next year somewhere. So please select the location that is very convenient for you. If you don't mind driving two hours or three hours to a location that has the, uh, the closest appointment, you know, date, that is, you can do that as well. Okay. But with this, I'm just going to scroll down to let you know all the locations that they have so you can select the location the locations that is convenient for you okay i'm just scrolling down to show you the 24 locations that they have you know and please don't forget to uh take your mask with you because you got to wear your mask at all times you know you have to keep yourself safe so here we're going to select uh, Glen Burnie. So I'm just scrolling down to see all the locations that they have and I'll scroll back up to show you the locations that I will, be, I will prefer to go to and that is the location that is convenient for me as well. So please select the location that is convenient for you. Okay. So I'm just scroll, scroll, scrolling down to uh, so you can see all the locations that they have. Okay, so I'm gonna go up and select the Glen Burnie uh, location because that's what is convenient for me. And that locations, their earliest appointment time is uh, January 14th, 2021. That is convenient for me. So after that, it's gonna scroll all the way down and click on, uh, let's see, click on continue. Okay, that brings us straight to uh, the time. So, so this uh, particular uh, date is going to give you the times that is, you know, you know, is available. 
So you just have to select the, uh, the time that is convenient for you. Please don't select uh, 8 o'clock and go in at 10 o'clock or 12 o'clock. Okay, you go to the go to the time that is convenient for you. Select the time that is convenient for you. So see, it brings us straight here. Uh, let's see where it takes us now. Uh, wow, easy as ABC. So our appointment is confirmed. That is our confirmation number. You say your appointment has been scheduled. Your confirmation number is. Let's click here to see the to view. And print it if we want to do that there we go easy as ABC you know I think that Maryland Motor Vehicle Administration has done a great job their website is very user-friendly welcome back to uptown to downtown on slash TV I think the website is user-friendly you know I thought the way people were complaining about they not being able to schedule an appointment. I thought it was going to be, you know, we're going to face some difficulties being able, not being able to schedule an appointment. But from what you can see, it's very user friendly. So I'll give it a thumbs up. You know, kudos to uh, Department of uh, Motor Vehicle Administration. Their website is very user friendly. Yes, and with the appointment that we schedule, I have to go back on there and uh, cancel the appointment that we schedule so we can make room for uh customers that are looking for real appointment dates okay so i did delete the uh, appointment that we said that was a was just a tutorial on to teach the viewers or uh residents of maryland on how to schedule the appointment as always thank you for watching uptown to downtown on slash tv please subscribe like and share this video till we meet again stay safe we out